We have a box full of vintage majorettes coming up right now for you right here on Next Level Toys. Welcome to Next Level Toys. We have a box full of majorette cars. The vintage ones from the 80s, early 90s. So we're going to start off with this Fruits van. It is made in France. Missing a door. These are the majorettes that survived my childhood. I gathered them all up and put them together here. Some of them are not in the best of shape. But I do have surprisingly some good ones here. Here is a pumper fire truck in amazingly good condition. Got a little ladder that works. It looks actually brand new, don't it? Mm -hmm. I like my fire trucks. I have a bunch of these. Do y'all remember the Sonic Flashers? Yes. I still got my Sonic Flashers. This was my favorite one. Uh, one of the bulbs broke on it, but actually it's shoved in. But yes, this is a Sonic Flasher. They were made in the early 90s. Here is a Mercedes. In pretty nice shape. It's got a little bit of dirt on it, but besides that, it's pretty nice shape. Bottom looks pretty much mint. I like my dress because a lot of them have the opening doors. Nice detail in the front. It's all metal. My favorite types of castings is the metal ones. I have half of a truck. I don't know where the other truck went to this, but this part survived. I never played with it much, but Majorette as well. I think it's like a, a barbecue that you can drive around and what do you think? It looks like a, like a big old rolling barbecue. This is actually a Sonic Flasher 2. It's a race car. You used to push it down and it would make like a racing noise. See that? It's in pretty good shape as well. The cool thing about this one, the lights were on the back of it. They'd actually come on. Oh. If you hear, it actually still makes a little bit of a noise. So whatever batteries were put in these in over 20 years ago is still alive. Beat up old Majorette Ford Transit here. It's seen better days, but I had a lot of fun with this thing. I made a little pond, and well, I stuffed it in there, and it stayed in there for a while. We all played with our frogs and tadpoles. The cool thing about this is the door. I like the door on it. It actually slides open like that. It's like a real door on an actual van today. Everybody loves Lamborghinis. I do. I'm a supercar fanatic. This is an older Lamborghini, obviously. The Diablo. It's all metal. Quite heavy casting. Pretty solid wheels, too. Just a little bit bad paint, but got some red lights on the back there. And you can still see the Lamborghini logo there in the front. Here's another Lamborghini. This one's in a lot better shape. Again, uh, this is all metal too. That's what I like about Majorette back in the day. They were all metal, bottom and top. The wing on the back is plastic. It survived somehow. The paint did also. What do you think about that, y'all? That's a nice car. It's actually really nice shape. 
and uh, getting new, you know, they're older when they say made in France. You know, again, of course, I've had these since the early 90s and the 80s when I played with them. Or here's what's left of my Majorette helicopter. I wish uh, it was complete. I broke the rotor off of the back of it. But besides that, it's not in too bad a shape. It's a police helicopter. If you can see the front end and detail of it. Let me show you the bottom of this cool little thing here. Made in France as well. Majorette. But surprisingly, the propellers are still on. I got this little train just for the heck of it because I've had this for a long time too. It's just, it is not a majorette, it's just there for looks, in case you're wondering. Here's a cool police van. I don't know which one it is. Corgan, whatever. Looks like a Dodge. But I like it because it has a lot of windows on it. Both doors are still on it. Still work just like they should. It's a police van. Cool. And if you look inside, you can put all kinds of those mean old people in there. Y'all remember these wide body cars? That's another reason why I like Majorette. Look how wide this thing is. Uh, this, it's so hard to even tell. It's a Pontiac Fiero. You can tell by looking at it on the side that's what it is. But whoosh. It's fat. That's why I like these vintage Majorettes because uh, in the 80s and 90s they really tended to make them very large. And I'll show you. This is a Hot Wheel car. Standard normal Hot Wheel car. What do you think? Look how fat that thing is. Quite large. I'll even show you the Lamborghini, which has a pretty good size style, and it's still bigger. Everybody knows the Nomad. I mean, look at that. It's huge. No comparison if that got in a race. <laughs> Whoa. What a wreck. I love the fat body cars, and I'm going to start collecting them if I come across them. Like, these are pretty wide as well. That's just how they did it back in the day. Got this gigantic fire truck. Yeah, sadly I destroyed the ladder off of it, but it used to have a big ladder here attached to this. And I had a lot of fun with it, but sadly the ladder is gone. Such a good amount of detail in this. And uh, the bottom is plastic. But very nice. Got this cool little pickup truck. Looks like a Toyota. It is a Toyota. There's the Toyota. It's got plastic little headlights on the front of it too. All metal as well. Then we got the Mighty Hawk. Or Might Hawk that is. It also has an opening hood there. Both intact headlights as well, plastic. So pretty much same version as this Toyota. It's just different color. How about the Lamborghini? This is not obviously a Lamborghini. It's a limo. I got my L's mixed up there, but this is a pretty cool car. It survived my childhood as well, what's left of it. It's got four opening doors. A sunroof that opens. This used to 
extend a little bit more on each side, but it broke off. And well, for the most part, everything else is old. I'm missing its headlights. <laughs> this is a big, gigantic, solid, heavy duty car. <laughs> I don't know what I did with those headlights though. But ta da I don't know where to put this big old thing. I don't want to block everybody, but there we go. Put you there. Here's another Sonic Flasher. This is a army version of a fire truck. I have a bunch of these. I don't know how I got them, but I got a bunch of them when I was younger and I got them all. Some of them are beat up, but I got them still today. In fact, here's another. This one's actually in pristine condition. But sadly, they just don't make no noises. They used to make a sound and like shooting noises. Oh yes, the Trans Am. Everybody likes these Pontiacs. The hood's even still open. There we are. It's in pretty good shape. No broken windows or paint looks good too. Yes, that is actually a metal engine. It's not plastic. Check that out. Again, this is another wide body car too. It's super fast. And check out that eagle on the front of it too. It's a really awesome car. Yes, as we said, here's another fire truck. But this is a different fire truck. This ladder extends. This one don't. It's the same body. They just put a different ladder on it. So, yeah. Here's what's left of an old army, or not army truck, but a farm truck that I broke. It has a missing side there, like you can see straight through it. And I painted it. And I even busted the window out of it. <laughs> I wish it was in pristine condition because it actually may be a collectible car these days. This one here is a, actually a, a Morgan, a classic Morgan. Surprisingly, astonishingly, the windshield is still on it. So uh, that's surprising considering what I did with a lot of my cars. You can see the silver steering wheel. The wheels have a gentle use on it. I did play with it, but uh, surprisingly it didn't break. Got an old tow truck here. Not a lot of thought really went into this tow truck. It's just a pickup truck with hitches on it. There was actually two of these. One of them's gone, but it still has one of them. Gigantic, uh, I don't know. It's just, it looks like a big old, it's a Chevy. <laughs> you can just tell by looking at the front of it, but it's a good old square box truck. Got a convertible here. This is a Mustang convertible. The interior has seen a little sunshine and rain because you can tell by the fade. And the uh, hood still opens. The paint's still good. I'm surprised the doors don't open. But again, 99% of these cars are all metal. That's just another reason why I like them. The paint's in pretty good shape with this car. Got another Lamborghini. Ta -da. This is a black one. The white pieces there are plastic. This is the Lamborghini. This is Lamborghini. It looks like a Delablo, but it may not be. It might be a different version. There's so many different Lamborghinis. But those are not stickers either way. They're 
actual paint. We have the Coca-Cola. Everybody likes a good old Coca-Cola car. This is actually one of my favorites. It's the 57 Chevy. I've had since mid 90s. It's not in perfect shape, but it's pretty rad. And then we got the old camper here. Uh, this may even be even older because uh, it could be even late 70s, early 80s because I've had this thing forever. It's one of my originals. But it survived my childhood. It still has the door too. See in there? See the kitchen? On the bottom of it has a little opening there. It still even has a little tow hook there to haul a boat, I guess. <laughs> Fat body Corvette. I wish this was in mint condition because I like the red, white, and blue schemes. This is the 2000, but it's obviously way older than that. I haven't even played with it since 94 or 95. Besides the paint, it's actually held pretty good. Oh, and yes, the doors do open on that. Ta -da. Here's another Sonic Flasher. Shell gasoline. It has lights on the back too. They're yellow lights though. This one's uh, in real nice shape. I'm, I don't know if there's a way to take it off there to get to the battery to replace it. Maybe. If there is, let me know because I'm interested. I'm not going to do it to these. But with today's technology, you think we have a way of doing that, right? Here's the pace car. Sonic Flasher. The real bright orange. Again, it has lights on the top of it. And, uh... I can't remember. I don't think those are lights on the hood. But they're plastic, it looks like. Oops. How cool would it be to actually work, though? Here's a... little... excavator majorette. What's left of it? It's missing the scooper. Besides that, it's pretty much there. Here's a Sonic Flasher red version fire truck, but I smashed it. Again, I was pretty abusive on my cars when I was going through that age. You know, I think we all were. Here's another pickup. Well, not really pickup, but little truck. <laughs> Is this an old truck? What's left of it? There's a dump truck to you do your dump dumps in good shape. I used to fill these up with sand and just keep on hauling them over and over with sand. This is a Pontiac. I think it's a Firebird or I'm pretty sure it's a Firebird. Red, white, and blue. It may even go with this Corvette with the series because they're similar. Sadly that engine is plastic. But can you imagine if that was metal? This would be really heavy. Got another van here. This is another Ford Transit. The front ends beat all the Timbuktu. Got a little door on this that opens as well. It has a lime olive green on it. Green's my favorite color, but boy, that's a weird looking green, isn't it? I don't know if the camera can do justice on it, but put that right there. Yet again, another Sonic Flasher. Uh, I told you I got a bunch of them. A lot of Christmas and birthday gifts right here. But it's missing the Army Utility part of it. How about this? I forgot about that. That's a tank. It's a Majorette tank. It don't do a whole lot, but uh, 
It does roll. Sort of. And that can actually raise and lower her with a big gigantic bullet in it. Here's another sonic flasher. It's the Bronco. Everybody knows that body. It has the lights on the top that used to power on. The only bad thing Sonic Flashers did the plastic bottoms, but it's understandable because you got the extra lights and sounds. They're a specialty car. Here's another transit. This one's in, I think, the best of shape of my vans. It's the city bus. Not much of a real bus, but it's pretty cool. Again, it has some doors that open. Let's open her up here. So you can see that spectacular yellow interior. How awesome is that? Paint's in good shape. Bottom is in good shape. Everything is in pretty good shape with this van. This is a Lamborghini as well. Check out that paint scheme. No, I did not use a marker on it. That's the actual paint. Number 36. Besides the paint issue, it's actually pretty good shape, except for the base is trying to come off of it. Here's a big rig. <laughs> there we are. What's left of the old big rig here? It's seen its days. There's a. I never did ever know what this was when I was a kid. If you knew, if you know, have any idea what it is, let me know because I never did figure out what that is. But yes, there it is. It's some kind of something. Here's my one and only ambulance sonic flasher. I used to play a nice melody and have lights. Tinted windows. We gotta keep the privacy in there. Another dump truck. Can't ever have enough dump trucks. Got this gigantic um, Cherokee here. This is one of my older cars that I've had for a long time. It's not old old, but to me it is because I've had it so for a very long time. I even you can't tell, but you, I did paint it a little bit with a red marker, and it had a little plastic door that broke off. So there it is. I always, I used to be a Michael Jordan fan. And I kept this with my Michael Jordan basketball cards. <laughs> I still am a fan. I just don't get to watch it no more. But here's another Morgan, the red version of it. But this one definitely did not survive the windshield. Got a little loader here. Orange one. It's actually intact and not too badly beat up. Here's another fire truck. It's similar to the one I just had the first one, but the ladder is a little bit beat up. Here's one of them big body ambulances. This one has no lights and sirens, but it's just a gigantic big body. I'm sure y'all probably have seen this one a time or two. Another sonic flasher. Again, it's missing its little gun here. This is a different color. It's a tan and green instead of the green on green. No sounds. But still cool though. This is the army version of the police car. It's just like that police car we had here. It's just painted different. Yeah. The bottom is definitely a little worn. Got a lot of play in these things, that's for sure. And the plastic pieces did not break. Speaking of breaking, this one did. 
I lost the door off of it. I wish I still had the other door. Why they made them plastic, I have no idea. But this is, um, this is actually a BMW. This is an older one, obviously. Kind of looks like the DeLorean, but sadly it's just messing that plastic door. Other than that, it's not in bad shape, so the paint. He's missing the whole caboose. It's another fire truck. Yes, I did get a lot of doubles and stuff when I was younger. As you hear and see in my other videos. Here's an old-fashioned, normal Jeep Cherokee. ta -da. Has a little issue in the back though. We got a little fender bender. Metal on metal. Speaking of fender benders, uh, this is my old Corvette that was hit from the side back in the day. I thought we'd throw that in there because uh, it survived a lot of abuse. Uh, I, yeah, I smashed this too. I think it was because it was pink. But, what can you do? And it has blue tires on it. This may be worth something. It may be a collectible now because it's just so weird. But, uh, I don't even know what kind of car this is. Piguet. Little mini convertible. Then we got this AVIS vehicle with the opening doors. Let's see inside there is just a little bit of something in there. It's not a sonic flasher. It is just an express vehicle. How about another fire truck? Yes. Can never have enough fire trucks. Wow. How about a Volvo? We got opening doors on this Volvo. This is one of my few that actually has a plastic bottom. As you can see there. And I don't know if you can tell, but yeah, I did take a Sharpie or something to this a long time ago. You can see a little bit of purple on there. Here's another one of them convertibles. Again, I smashed it too. <laughs> What's left of it? I love advertising vehicles. Luckily, when I was a kid, I actually preserved this Nerds convertible with the opening hood. This is a Mercedes 500. This has got a couple little paint nicks on it, but besides that, uh, no, the doors do not open. But it's a pretty cool car. Another dump truck. Yes, I got quite a few of these. Uh, running out of room here. Almost done here. Here's an older locking truck here. It's missing the whole front end of it. But I thought I'd throw every majorette that I got in here. This is my mint condition dump truck. It just has one little nick of paint off of it. Again, I've had that for a very long time. It's just been packed away. Uh, this is a metal bottom real thin and all plastic it's a specialty car I had two or three of these but this is the only one that survived obviously because you take a hammer to it it's gone so that might be a little bit of a collectible how about a Jack's tow truck service here it's a unique big bodied vehicle all metal except for the white plastic bumpers Another Sonic Flasher with everything missing. But it had 
little lights on there, but they were smashed in there as well. This is an army truck, six wheel. It used to have a little bit of extra plastic here. It broke off, probably from where I had it stored. And I'm thinking they had a little gun here in that hole. But besides that, I didn't play with it too much. It just probably got smashed while it was packed away. But and then we got this little pickup truck, square body. It has a rhino on it. Just a little bit of a paint issue on there. This is the last one. This used to be a cement truck. It's missing the, obviously, the cement mixer. And this is an older one as well. But it survived, except for the important part of it. That does it for today's show. We hope you enjoyed this majorette collection. Please like, subscribe, and share if you want to see many more awesome vehicles in the future right here on Next Level Toys. Till then, happy hunting everybody!